Alrighty, <laughs> yo, what is up, knights? E just Rick here, back with some more DFO charge. This time on my. Who is this guy? Pathfinder! <laughs> I forgot this guy existed, and look at his gear for a second. Just look at this guy's stupid gear and just, just be amazed that I don't even know this character's name. Pathfinder, guys. Sexy Grandpa. Um, we're playing him, and look at how much gear this guy has. I mean, he has two piece Super Tay. Uh, full full Tabor set and even a uh, Sky Legacy weapon. Uh, how did this happen? Well, the jump server happened and I had to pick a character that I didn't care at all about to gear him out. Um, that wasn't already geared already and this guy was a perfect candidate because this guy should have been deleted a long time ago. Uh, and yet here we are. We did delete him and we remade him. Um, but now I'm currently farming his uh, Operation Hope swap set just because, you know, it would be a really a crying shame if I got this guy in full tan and didn't care at all about him, which I care enough about him to give him uh, this OH set. But guys, uh, let's talk a little bit about how this character plays, because he's he's kind of unique, and I just missed that skill right there, and I'm getting fucking comboed right now. Uh, yeah, stop. Dude, I'm at half health. They're killing me. Uh, this guy's pretty unique in that he is a synergy character, so let's get that straight right off the bat. This is one of those characters that doesn't seem like a synergy character, but is, you know, the same thing. There's so many characters that are like that. My mistress is like that. Like, why is... Anyway, doesn't matter. This guy has some uh, unique systems in that he's a synergy character, but he's also a pretty decent holder. He's kind of like DT in that regard, where uh, he has the ability to hold with really low cooldown skills. Now, one of them is this skill right he here, which kind of makes an AoE field, and this holds everybody. Another skill that he has at his disposal is this one right here, which also does some pretty decent AoE um, and pretty decent cooldown as well. Um, and then lastly, he also has the ability, the really low cooldown one is this one right here, boom. Um, which, it just nuked these guys because they're like really weak, but just trust me on that. It's a really low cooldown hold that that, uh, that works on all those guys there. So uh, He also has his, awake his first awakening, which holds as well. This one is a really long duration, just very blatant hold so he's a holder like a really good holder he like he said he has some really low cooldown ones and and ones that are going to work for long uh, for for most situations that you need them now uh, one thing that you'll notice on the bottom left is that he has a system of sorts you'll see whenever i hit with you know one of my skills i'm going to be getting a little bit of a charge of my battery when i get my battery up i will have the ability to augment my skills which will change the skills from normal uh, blue color to a red color and you can do that for almost all of your skills I mean no I would say a lot of your skills like this hold right here gets a, a benefit off of that uh, that system uh, this hold right here basically anytime you see a skill that's red um, I'm getting a benefit off of the uh, or that I'm getting a benefit off of the battery system how do I activate it well essentially um, what you do is uh, when you cast a skill you just press the Z uh, key uh, during the animation of casting it, and that kind of augments some of your skills. So a mission, if I cast a Z, it changes it into a red emission, and so on and so forth. Now there is a couple uh, changes to that, like for instance, if I uh, charge up this skill right here, if I hold it down, the attract ammunition, it makes it a much more uh, big attraction field. So some of the skills you have to charge up, some of the skills you just press a Z skill, and you utilize the batteries that way. So it's a very small, minor, minute, Thing about the character but I think it is something that you know you kind of have to think about honestly I always feel like I have uh, charges when I need it I'm always gonna have a charger battery whenever I, I cast it so it's not something I really think about all that much myself but you know it is available and you can make your duration of your holds longer you can make some of your damage or gain some utility out of uh, some skills that you normally um, wouldn't have just by casting a skill alone just like right there um, I can change that a little bit so anyway, um, what else about this character, guys? I mean, I kind of explained his gimmicks. He's a holder type character that has the ability to augment some of his skills. What else does he have? Uh, uh, he has this skill, uh, which if I hit it with other skills that I have, I can make the explosion bigger. Uh, that's it. I'm out. I don't. I don't know what else this guy has. This guy is boring, man. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. If you play this character. Uh, I'm sorry that I had I had to be so harsh on this character, but you know I I just don't see why they had to make this guy so sim simplified. I think he had the ability to kind of this augment system. I really do wish it was vastly different than what you normally get off the normal cast. I mean, honestly, you're gonna get the effectiveness that you want out of casting this, even regardless of if you augment it or not. You know that that's gonna do a hold and that's gonna do uh, comparable damage to you know 
not you know it's gonna get the holding effect that you want regardless if you hit the battery or not I think the battery system is it could be a lot better and some of your skills don't even use the battery at all so it's like dude did they forget about the battery system why didn't they you know how come I can't augment that skill or something or how come you know all my skills can't be augmented with the batteries I don't know man it's like a missed opportunity did they forget this character exists I'm getting fucking owned right now okay <laughs> anyway so, you know, I think this is a forgotten character. I think they just forgot, you know, as they made him. Um, which is a shame, really. I, I do think he's interesting enough to, to warrant uh, getting a better treatment than he has gotten. He's, he's, this guy is so annoying. Okay. Thank you for dying. Um... So yeah, that's kind of why he fell to the wayside. That's why he was a perfect candidate for the jump server because I, I didn't really think that the, the battery system was, was in-depth enough to warrant, you know, the kind of play that I kind of expected with the battery system. I mean, if you're going to have it, you might as well make it a little bit more worthwhile than very slightly changing some skills. Uh, so yeah, aside from that, he plays, um, you know, I, I, I don't really know... Uh, what else this guy what, what what call to fame does this guy have oh that skill right there uh he has the call to fame uh in terms of you know something that's very unique with this character in that this skill right here dispulsion is the worst skill in the game uh <laughs> seriously i don't know what's wrong with the scaling of that skill but it's like they forgot some zeros or something it is so weak and so long cooldown and it's pathetic really it's really pathetic uh, the damage on that skill dispulsion i don't even think they ever fixed that even with the tp like that shit is fucked up <laughs> uh so i guess that's another call to fame with this character is what's up with dispulsion did they forget seriously that's what i'm gonna tell this video did they forget about this character or what they were doing with this character or anything about this character because uh, seriously there's so many things about this character that i feel like um they just they didn't even bother and they're not looking into it right now and uh, it's kind of sad now, I'm not saying that this guy is unpopular or anything. I think he is. I don't think a lot of people play him, but um, things like this, it's just its just sadness, man. Anyway, the range is also pathetic for what it does, so. Like, how are you going to have a no damage skill and also have no no range? Like, at least have it give, give it AoE so that it can kill, like, trash mobs easily. Doesn't even do that, so. That bomb skill right there, by the way, is, is one of the more technical things about this character. There, there aren't a lot, but that one right there is. Um, you have to preemptively put it down and make sure that you hit it enough time to get it the maximum effectiveness. Which I think is kind of a cool feature because, you know, for instance, if you cast it... Um, you can't cast it, like, during your animation, so you have to cast it preemptively before your, your uh, awakening. So, that's kind of like a cool feature there. I'm holding this guy like crazy. That's a cool feature that, you know, okay, you have to think a little bit with this character by casting, you know, that skill before you use any of your bigger long animation multi-hit skills uh, so that, uh, you know, you can get the full damage off while you're holding them, which is kind of cool. There's some skills that chain really nicely into this bomb skill. You can throw the bomb skill and then hit him with the energy bounce or even with the, uh, what is this, emission or your first awakening, second awakening, whatever. Uh, and they chain really perfectly because you're holding the boss down while you're doing it. So I'm going to go into Donnie Crevice here um, because like I mentioned in my chaos video, I think anybody who's strong enough to do Donnie Crevice, it's a good idea to start farming these if you're able to. But I, unfortunately, am too strong for most of the content that uh, normally I would complain about this character not being very strong. Because, you know, even even a mission, which normally should be trash, is able to one-shot these guys. But just remember that this guy's in full tabers. This, <laughs> this dungeon is supposed to be for, uh, you know, farming up uh, Harlem Epic. So. And there you go. He yeah, has some pretty cool combos like that. I mean... I think his AOE game is nice. I think, you know, I was able to make short work of the um, Operation Hope, which Operation Hope is kind of annoying for characters like who don't have great AOE, like Skirmisher. It sucked so bad on my Skirmisher. But this character has some great AOE, and it, at least he's strong enough to kill Trash Moms while he's, like, leveling up and, and all of that. So he has no problem with that. I think even with some of the big burst skills like that one right there, um, he can really make some short work of some guys that are generally pretty annoying, so... You know, just casting a few big boy skills like that. Let's go ahead and throw this, throw this, throw this, and blow it up. 
and that was enough damage. Oh god, one away, one A. You get full iframe off the one A, so that's nice. Almost fucking died. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing to die with full tape. Come on, man. Yeah, like I said, unfortunately not able to do much else with this character um, right now. So I think I'm just going to be abusing him, using uh, op or doing Operation Hope, doing Donnie Crevice, doing things like that. Hell, maybe even farming some legendaries with Assault Mode, because that's kind of where... Uh, my head is at right now with 100 cap looming around the corner is that I'm, I'm gonna try to abuse my characters and abuse my resources and the old content as much as I can and one thing you know let me just take this video to explain since I don't have much else I want to really say about uh, this character <laughs> I've kind of I've kind of I've said it all he has some good AoE good holding potential he's a synergy character so obviously he's gonna get the benefit off of that but um, good grouping good AoE what, what else can I say this guy is boring that's what I could say. But uh, anyway, um, let me just also warn you guys of some, some tech that I kind of alluded to in my chaos video. And that is, you know, 100 cap is looming around the corner. You might not want to invest too much into or too much more into your characters. I mean, I don't think I want to take this guy into, you know, prey raid and keep him going on the progression path that normally uh, you would go on because, uh, well, he sucks, first of all. But second of all... Um, he doesn't suck, I just don't want to do it. Uh, second of all, um, 100 cap around the corner and a lot of this stuff doesn't translate. But there are some stuff that do translate, okay, um, that are still viable to farm in this cap. And in fact, it was recommended even to farm in this cap before the 100 cap comes out, okay. Uh, one of those things is uh, amplified gear, okay. Amplified gear is cursed gear. Uh, and to get cursed gear, you have to use a silver grimoire or a golden grimoire to uh, basically add the curse on top of your gear. Or if you're lucky, you can get it to drop out right. And that's exactly why I'm farming this dungeon. It's exactly why I'm farming um, Downing Crevice on all my characters because there's a lot of dungeons and, and content that exists in the game that give you cursed gear outright. Okay, so this is one of them. Assault Mode can give you Cursed Legendaries outright. Donnie Crevice can give you Cursed Epics outright. And hell, if you're still... If you're of the mind that you have a ton of materials left over for farming Hell Mode, you can indeed farm Hell Mode that can drop Tabor's gear, Harlem gear. Um, that is cursed when it drops. So, there's still content that exists in the game. I wouldn't recommend the Hell Mode as much uh, because, you know, this content that I'm doing right now is completely free almost it just costs some cheap materials to keep doing this but um you know for sure assault mode and donning crevice are, are great sources of being able to uh get yourself some cursed gear on top of that i know that 100 cap is going to require um some epic souls so if you're using up your epic souls like it's water or something don't uh, save your epic souls from everything disassemble all the epics that you don't need anymore um, and those are particularly the non-cursed epics. Okay, save all of your cursed epics because you might be able to, um, you know, use the imprinting system to, to transfer over to these amps is what I'm getting at here. So I'm trying to get as much gear as I can on all of my alts and all the people on my main characters and stuff. I'm trying to get them uh, all of the amp gear that they can get because that does imprint onto the level 100 cap gear once it comes out. It's a great way to farm it without having to... Uh, use the silver and, and golden grimoires, which are vastly expensive. So, hopefully, I was able to explain that why I'm farming this content. You might see this on the streams and stuff like that. That I'm doing content that's way too easy for my characters, like this guy was doing OH, and now he's doing all this bullshit. Why? Well, that's the reason. Okay, two reasons: Epic Souls and potentially getting some amped gear. And if you get any of those two things, hold on to it, guys. Hold on to it until uh, 100 cap comes out. I think you have to upgrade it to Tabers at the very least, but you know, farm that material too. Farm up this Aberrant Crystals, farm up any kind of Sky Fragments that you need to upgrade into Tabers, and you're gonna be set once 100 cap comes out. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. This is a little bit of Pathfinder action. Hey, I remembered his name. And I will catch you knights later.